Welcome, denizens. It's top ten den time, and today we are setting our sights a little further from home. We're talking solar flares. These magnificent yet potentially disastrous phenomena originate from our very own star. So buckle up and keep your solar shields ready as we dive into the world of these energetic eruptions. 10. Understanding Solar Flares, an eruption of fiery fury. The magnificent and potentially catastrophic phenomena that we call solar flares originate from our very own star, the Sun. These intense bursts of radiation represent the Sun's magnetic activity manifesting on a grand scale. Imagine the solar surface as a taut rubber band. As it twists and contorts due to the Sun's rotation, it eventually snaps, releasing a massive amount of energy in the process. This eruption is what we call a solar flare. Solar flares are fleeting but tremendously potent, firing off intense radiation in just about every direction. They light up the sun, creating an impressive spectacle that can be observed through satellite imagery. Though beautiful and awe-inspiring to behold, these powerful eruptions pose potential threats. Their emitted radiation, when directed towards Earth, can interfere with our technological systems and cause substantial disturbances. As we journey through this list, we'll delve into the intricacies of these radiant eruptions and unravel the impact they can have on our lives. 9. Solar Flare Classification – A Measure of Stellar Temperament One might wonder, are all solar flares created equal? The answer, quite simply, is no. Solar flares are not a monolith but rather a varied bunch, differing in intensity and thus classified accordingly. Just like meteorologists categorize hurricanes by their wind speed, astronomers classify solar flares based on their X-ray brightness in the Earth's vicinity. The smallest ones are B-class, followed by C, M, and finally the largest are X-class flares. But don't be misled by this seemingly innocuous alphabetical order. Each letter represents a tenfold increase in energy output. Therefore, an X-class flare is not just a step above an M-class flare, but is in fact ten times stronger. Furthermore, within each class, flares are assigned a number from 1 to 9 for finer granularity. Therefore, an X9 flare is 10 times more powerful than an X1 flare, and approximately a whopping 900 times more potent than a C1 flare. This classification system is essentially the astronomical equivalent of the Richter scale used for quantifying the energy released by earthquakes. 8. The Carrington Event of 1859, a spectacular solar tempest. As we journey back in history to the 19th century, we encounter a particularly powerful solar flare, the largest one ever recorded. This event is popularly known as the Carrington Event, named after British astronomer Richard Carrington, who observed and recorded this solar superstorm. The flare was so powerful that it caused auroras to be seen around the world, reaching as far south as the Caribbean a region far from the typical auroral zones. Imagine looking up at the night sky and seeing a spectacular dancing light show where normally there would be none. However, the Carrington event wasn't all beauty without brawn. The accompanying solar storm had some serious muscle. It interfered with Earth's fledgling telegraph network, causing widespread system failures. Some telegraph operators even reported receiving electric shocks from their equipment, while others found they could disconnect their power sources and still send messages, powered by the aurora-induced electrical surge. 7. The Potential Impact of a Modern-Day Carrington Event Now, let's indulge in a little speculation. What if a Carrington-like event were to happen today? As one might expect, the implications would be far more dramatic and far-reaching. We now live in a world where our dependence on technology is almost absolute. We rely on satellites for communication and navigation. We depend on the power grid for nearly every aspect of daily life. The sprawling web of technology that weaves our modern world together is, in many ways, the lifeblood of contemporary society. A powerful solar storm like the Carrington event could cripple this web, causing widespread chaos and substantial economic damage disruption of satellite communication would render GPS systems useless and severely affect telecommunication networks. A powerful geomagnetic storm could induce surges in the power grid, leading to widespread blackouts. Given the interconnectedness of today's power grids, such blackouts could cascade across countries and even continents, resulting in extensive and prolonged power outages. 
Six, grappling with the fallout, a world in darkness. Let's delve a little deeper into the nightmarish scenario of a widespread power grid collapse triggered by a super solar storm. As frightening as it might sound, the reality could be even more so. Electricity is so ingrained in our lives that life without it, even for a short while, seems almost unimaginable. The immediate aftermath of a global power outage would be total darkness, which in itself can create a sense of panic and disorder but it's the long-term effects that are truly concerning. Most urban water systems rely on electric pumps, so water supply would quickly be affected. This lack of water would then impact sanitation, leading to a potential public health crisis. Our food supply chain is heavily dependent on refrigeration, so food shortages would soon follow. Similarly, hospital services, emergency response systems, and even our financial institutions would grind to a halt. Without electricity, our highly networked and interconnected world would be thrown into chaos. This stark scenario underscores the vital importance of being prepared for and safeguarding against extreme solar events. 5. Fortifying our defences, safeguarding against solar storms. As unsettling as this all sounds, it's crucial to remember that we are not helpless. There are several measures that can be implemented to protect against the effects of solar storms. At the most basic level, power companies can install grid protection devices that can prevent power surges from damaging equipment. Operational changes such as adjusting power loads and altering interconnections can also help safeguard power systems during solar storm events. On a larger scale, governments and industries can invest in infrastructure hardening, making power grids and communication networks more resilient to solar storms. In space, satellite operators can put their satellites into safe mode during solar storms, minimizing the risk of damage. Astronauts aboard the International Space Station can seek shelter in specially shielded areas of the station to protect themselves from increased radiation levels. Indeed, preparation is key to weathering a solar storm, and adopting these mitigation strategies could help avert a potential disaster. 4. Our Eye in the Sky the importance of space weather forecasting. Much like terrestrial weather forecasting, we also have space weather forecasting, which plays a crucial role in preparing for solar storm events. Monitoring solar activity and providing warnings of potential solar storms can give us the vital lead time needed to put protective measures in place. Our primary sources of space weather data are satellites like the NOAA's Geostationary Operational Environmental Satellites, GOES, and the Deep Space Climate Observatory, DESCO-VR which constantly monitor the sun's activity. This real-time data is invaluable for forecasting solar storm events. With these advanced warnings, power companies can take preventive actions to safeguard the power grid. Satellite operators can put their satellites into safe mode and astronauts can take shelter. Space weather forecasting, therefore, is our first line of defense against solar storms. Three, technological mitigation, an investment for the future. As we become increasingly reliant on technology, the importance of protecting it from solar storms cannot be overstated. In addition to preventative measures taken at the time of a solar storm, a significant part of safeguarding our technology involves long-term planning and infrastructure upgrades. Investing in advanced, hardened infrastructure that can withstand the effects of solar storms will help minimize potential damage. This includes everything from power grids and communication networks to satellite systems and spacecraft. Additionally, creating redundant systems and backups can ensure continued functionality in case primary systems are damaged. This kind of technological mitigation is not just about avoiding short-term disruption. It's an investment that will make our society more resilient and capable of handling the challenges of the future. 2. Solar Flares a blessing in disguise. While much of our focus has been on the potential dangers posed by solar flares, it's also important to acknowledge their more benign and even beneficial effects. Solar particles interacting with the Earth's magnetic field and atmosphere result in one of the most breathtaking natural phenomena we can witness, auroras. These ethereal light shows, known as the northern and southern lights, are a direct result of solar flare activity. When charged particles from a solar flare reach Earth's magnetic field, they can travel along magnetic field lines to the poles, where they interact with atmospheric gases to create these beautiful displays. 
Thus, amidst the potentially destructive capabilities of solar flares, they also give us these stunning gifts of natural beauty. 1. In the face of solar power, our sun's dual nature. Our journey through the world of solar flares paints a fascinating picture of our relationship with the sun. On one hand, this humble star, sitting 93 million miles away, is the source of life on our planet. Its light and heat make life possible, driving everything from photosynthesis in plants to the climate patterns we experience. On the other hand, the same life-giving star can unleash a fury of magnetic energy that can disrupt our technology and threaten our modern way of life. Solar flares are a stark reminder of this dual nature of the sun, a life-bringer and potential life-disruptor. As we continue to advance technologically and as our exploration of space presses forward, understanding and preparing for solar phenomena like solar flares will be critical. We must learn to better predict solar storms, harden our infrastructure against them, and develop mitigation strategies for when they occur. Living with a star does come with its challenges, but with knowledge, preparation, and respect for our sun's power, we can face those challenges head on. And there you have it, folks, our fiery journey through the world of solar flares. From the energy-packed eruptions on the sun's surface to their profound impact on our lives, solar flares are a potent reminder of our star's incredible power. Remember, if you enjoyed this cosmic voyage, please give this video a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments. What fascinates you the most about solar flares? We'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join our adventurous den family. Until next time, keep exploring, stay curious and stay safe.